What's up, Flare Squad? Welcome back to my channel and to another Let's Read Save Me episode 8. Yeet. Alright, so in episode 7, we found out that Jin came in and saved Yoongi. Now, already, I was already, sh you know, confused and shocked about that because we thought it was Jungkook that would come in and save him. But then that made us realize, okay, that means Jin is gonna fail again, which is why Jungkook will save Yoongi in a future timeline. Now, remember this, though. Um, this is all happening on April 11. And when I looked back on my notes in my previous reaction, May 2nd was the date where Jungkook came in and dragged Yoongi out from the fire. So I don't know what's gonna happen, uh, but we do know that Yoongi's gonna try to burn himself again. All right, all right, all right, all right, let's do this. Hey, sorry. The mo what? The most beautiful moment in life, part zero, save me, is released simultaneously worldwide. Updated every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I mean, like, I thought we all knew that, but maybe people didn't. That's why they s said this. Okay. Uh, okay. Splash. Boop. Boop. Oh, gurgle. Hold on. Is that... What, what? Sorry, that's creepy. Um, who would drag you down there? Is that Jimin? Wait, wait, what? Is that Jimin and who? You, you know, usually I could tell the difference between character faces. I'm genuinely confused as to who this is that is dragging whoever this is. It looks like Jimin, okay? Snap. Oh, that was Tay Tay. <laughs> Yo, I thought that was Jin dreaming. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, because Tay Tay has those like spiky little under eyelash. Uh, oh boy, this specific image reminds me of the clip from I think like I Need You. Girl, I meant the music video Run, not I Need You. Okay. Oh, ooh, girl, you went down way too much. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Namjoon, where do you think Jimin is? Okay, so that was Jimin, but who was dragging him? Was it Namjoon or Jin? So they don't know where Jimin is, but okay, so. Backstory, all right. So, you know, all the boys, all seven of the boys went to high school together. Um, and Jimin and J-Hope were really close together. And usually they would walk home from school. They would take like a two hour route instead of like taking the bus, which only takes like 40 minutes, I believe. And one day J-Hope and Jimin were at this bus stop. And all of a sudden, um, Jimin started to have seizure. And J-Hope didn't know about like Jimin's past and his condition because uh, before he went to high school, Jimin was already in the hospital for his um, for his situation, his trauma and seizure. And now that I think about it, I think J-Hope and Jimin were at this bus stop because they were going to go to the flowering laboratorium. And that's when Jimin had his episode. And, um, you know, J-Hope brought him to the hospital and then Jimin's mom was there. And it seemed as if even though J-Hope was trying to help Jimin, the mom was just like, thank you, you're done, stay away from the sun, goodbye. And then after that, Jimin just never showed up to school anymore. And I guess he was just been in the hospital ever since then. There's the backstory. Why are you here? You don't look sick at all. You got me there, kid. What about you? Why are you here? Wait, so is he not sick? I don't know either. That makes us friends. <laughs> what? <laughs> they both don't know why they're there, right? Grin. Oh, huh? What's wrong? Are you okay? Hey, get uh, get up, kid. Help, somebody help. Oh, yo, dang, that was zero to a hundred real quick. It's all right. Hosok. <gasps> there we go. He just fell asleep. That's all. He's like me. Ah, the kid has narcolepsy, which is one of the conditions that has been confirmed that J-Hope has, or Hosok. Yeah. Where the hell are his parents? How could they just leave him here all alone? They remind me of my mom. 
Hey, he was lucky. At least he collapsed on a human cushion. See this? I got this from collapsing while I was walking myself. I should have kept you around too. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Wait, they're acting like they've seen each other, but... Wait, what? Okay, sorry. Jimin? It's been two years since we last saw each other, right? Okay, so it has... <laughs> they're talking as if they've already seen each other in the hospital, but I guess they haven't. It's been two years. Oh, they're gonna show... Okay, this is the scene that I was talking about earlier. Where Jimin started to have a seizure. So where were they going? Oh, it doesn't show any signs. I thought it was gonna show, like, hints. What's up? My clock stopped ticking at some point. So I can't really say how long I've been here. Dang. Or how much longer I need to stay. Dang. So he's, like, held up in the hospital like it's a prison. Whoosh. Splash. Okay, Jimin again with the water. Like who, who was dragging him down earlier though? That's what I'm confused about. Grass flower arboratorium, 2.1 miles. We, we, we've seen this image before actually. Um, Wait, what? Okay, that looks like blood. Okay, that looks like blood. Okay, so we've always tied blood and water to Jimin. What the? Blub, blub, oh, yo, are you trying to? Oh, heck no, that is creepy. Who is trying to drag him down? Slush. Namjoon, lately I've been having this strange dream. What kind of dream? Yoongi's trapped inside a burning fire. And Jimin is drowning in water. That kind of dream. <gasps> Jimin does drown himself! Oh my gosh, okay. In all the notes, they have never said that Jimin drowned himself. The only thing, the only reason why I came up with the theory that Jimin drowns himself is because they would show so many you know, scenes of him in a bathtub and kind of just like, you know, it looks like he was going to drown himself. But we finally got confirmation. So that's how Jimin's probably going to, you know, die, die in this one. Sounds like nonsense. Maybe it's because I want to see them both so bad. You want to go see Hosok? Wait, RM knows, RM Namjoon knows where Hosok is, right? Dang. So Tay at this point is still getting like abused by his father who's an alcoholic. What? Hosok in the hospital? How the hell do you end up getting hospitalized by falling over? Are you sure he wasn't faking it to get a day off? What? What? Oh, so see, Namjoon has been keeping in touch with Hoso. He used to do that back in high school as well, you know. He fell asleep while he was crossing the street and got hurt. Ah, remember that scene we saw from I Need You when he was like walking past the bridge and he just like collapsed? It's because it's narcolepsy. Just fell asleep out of nowhere? How does a person live like that? Can they figure out a cure for narcolepsy? Yeah, there you go. I mean, this is a huge hospital. Stop overreacting, Taehyung. Let's just ask the information desk what room he's in. Tap, tap. So that patient, Jimin Park, how long is he going to stay here? Oh, it's, oh, it's Hosok right now. Or is that? Yeah, it's Hosok. I mean, he's been here for years now. Dang, he has been there for years. Okay, his parents must be stressed out like crazy. That's what you'd think, but actually his parents forced him into being hospitalized. Uh, I heard he had some kind of accident when he was little. Ooh, they're talking about the flowering abortion. Poor kid, he's still so young. Click. 
What a long day. It's already time for the next shift. Wait, what? Who's that? Wait, what? Was that Jin? Yo, I'm getting mixed up with like... I'm still confused as to who was dragging Jimin down. I mean, I'm, it's either Hosok or Namjoon or Jin. If y'all know, let me know because I don't know why I'm so confused like as to who this is. And for this scene though, maybe okay, it has something to do with water and maybe he fell into the water. And then um, I, I posted on Twitter though that my theory is that Jimin might have witnessed or caused someone's death. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me show you guys um, this blood, sweat, and tears. The Japanese version of blood, sweat, and tears. There's always like this thing with this hallway. You know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, so like I said, Jimin might have caused or witnessed someone's death and instead of helping, he probably just, he just ran away, obviously, he just ran away. And um, that's what started his seizures. And what it is, is that he's been lying to the doctors saying, no, I, I don't remember what happened that day. Hence his song from the Wings album called Lies. And the lyrics kind of go over you know, how he feels about it. I just want to know who is trying to drag him down. I feel like the person who's trying to drag him down might have been the person, you know, that died or he witnessed died. But yes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to click that like button and also join the Fleur Squad by subscribing, you guys. Thanks for watching.